Having that independence is huge. I know that comes up for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Of they get to that point of, I want my life back. Absolutely. I want to be able to do this by myself. Um, I know a lot of people come in, and one of the things they talk about is they're ready to try and fail at doing things and figure out what that looks like, but might have either family members, whether it's their spouse, their children, their parents, of uh, people that are there that are maybe a little bit overprotective. Helicopter parents. Helicopter family, I tell you. They, they hover over top of you, you know, let me get that for you, let me get that for you. No, I, I have two legs now. I can go and get that for myself. And not that they, they're not meaning to, to make you feel handicapped, but when they do that, you do feel handicapped. You feel like, like I can't do anything for myself. And my family has backed off. My mother was a huge one. She was very much a helicopter mom. But now she lets me make my own mistakes. You know, if, if I go to fall, she will catch me. You know. But I like to have where I can do things all on my own because for 50 years, I did everything all on my own. But it's just been the past couple of years that I have had the like. Mm -hmm. But now I do do things all on my own. So what do you have in terms of advice for friends, family members, that support team? Um, and how to approach that situation. Let them know you're there for them. Let them know that, you know, I'm here if you need me. Don't, don't crowd them. Let, them. let them make their own mistakes. Let them slip. Let them not fall. Don't ever let anybody fall, please, never. Um, but you need to let them, if they want to get a drink, let them go get the drink. If they want to have something for lunch, let them go fix their own lunch. They did that for, for the longest time. It's just been since you've had your your limb amputated. Now suddenly everybody, they want to get you your drinks. They want to get you your your stuff. Everything they want to do for you, and you can't have that. You have to have that independence because before you had your leg amputated, you did everything on your own. You didn't have to count on your husband or your wife to do everything for you. You were able to do everything on your own. And once you have that that limb, you know, once you have your your prosthetic, you need to do that. You need to live your life again. You know, you could sit there and let everybody do anything for you, but then what kind of life are you having? You're not having your life, you're having their life. Or, you know, just just do it yourself. You know, get out there, make your mistakes. 